All right. Oh, that's right, we bought the Fool's Ore. Definitely a worthwhile purchase. <laughs> Let's check to see how Pablo's doing. I hope Pablo will grow up strong and healthy like you. Well, I hope so, too. I actually don't know if the baby grows in the randomizer or not. Hey, Proxima! Nice to see ya! Welcome, welcome! Now that we got the Fool's Ore, we're definitely ready to take on the bosses. Also, what green? Do we have the green rain equipped? No. I want the green rain equipped. Hey, Jay! Nice to see ya! Welcome aboard! Alright. So I think what we'll do first is we're gonna go off to the Unicorn's Cave, which I think we could have gone to for a while now, but... Now that we have the magnetic gloves and some more hearts, I think we're ready to actually take it on. Doink! We've got a lot of the important items already, which is great. We Take that, take that. Oh, that's right. Summer is the one season we're missing, isn't it? Shoot. It really is winter. Alright. Yoink! Yoink! Alright. Dungeon 5. Level 5, the Unicorn's Cave. Don't remember this dungeon too well, but I know it's big. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Attic! Welcome! Yep, just entered the Unicorn's Cave. I always remember this dungeon being kind of annoying, mainly due to its, uh, boss. The mini-boss is no picnic either, especially if you're doing a free heart cursed playthrough. Ah, uh, yes, the little mole heads. I have no idea what these guys' official name is. But they always look like moles to me. Highly car- <laughs> Highly cartoony moles, but... Okay, that's right. Wait, do we not have Pegasus Seeds? Hang on, that's actually... Oh wait, we don't have the seed satchel. That's right, we just have the slingshot. Well shoot, can we actually beat the dungeon? Oh, they're Helmosaurs! Actually, that makes a lot of sense. So the Helmosaur King is the king of them, okay. That's actually, yeah, if we need Pegasus Seeds at some point in this dungeon, can't remember if we do, then we in trouble. Hey, Mobius, welcome! Oh, oh yeah, the boss key. You know why the bot told you about it? Because I ended up accidentally starting the stream twice, because... I started it once, but I forgot I had changed my OBS settings for when Marty and I were recording, so I had to change them back, which required stopping the stream. I think that might be why I told you about it early. <laughs> Don't know for sure, though. Glad to see you're here, though. G -g 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 Come on. Get back here, you stupid moldorm. They look so shocked that they don't have their helmet anymore. It notifies when you stop streaming. Okay, that's right. So we gotta kill these guys in the right order, so... Oh no. Oh wait, I, I'm stupid. I can kill them with my sword. Because they aren't. these guys aren't red armoses, they're just blue ones. The red ones you can't kill with your sword. You got one rupee! Ten bombs. These aren't randomized. Four ember seeds and... Small key. The magnetic gloves are definitely interesting. I kind of like them. They're a super unique dungeon item, which I appreciate. I feel like so often it's just like, you get the bow and you get the hook shot, which, don't get me wrong, I love both of those, but... It's always nice when they try to go out of their way to make something a little special. You fool, I have boomerangs. Oh yeah, the boss... Um, I disagree about Dig Dodger being the worst boss in the game. I, I think that honor still goes to Manhandler.
Manhandle is a lot more manageable if you have if you find the quick sandrine though. Alright, beat it, Moldorms. At least Dig Dodger, you can one cycle him pretty consistently, once you know the strat. Which I I don't, but I ended up doing it accidentally in my uh, first let's play. Um, I know in Zelda 1 you can kill Manhandle with a single bomb. I don't think you can do that in this, though. In this, you have to use the Magic Boomerang to hit his open mouths. Wait. Yeah, you need the Boomerang. It's terrible. That. Oh boy, thank goodness we used a small key to get the compass. <laughs> That's definitely something that we like to do. I hate P-hats. I hate P-hats in every Zelda game. Okay, we do have Pegasus Seeds. That's good. We just can't use them the normal way. Wonderful. Oh my gosh, we finally- we got the summer's day! Yay! We can break this Michigan winter after all. You just open a chest, it's like, you learned the power of summer! Yes! Ember seeds can nuke P-hats even when they're flying? I gotta try that out. That's really useful if that's the case. So, I am crazy and... Both tonight and last night, I actually went out on a walk late at night when it was really, really cold. Normally, I absolutely hate the cold. That walk, those walks were surprisingly nice. I just had to bundle up a lot, but it actually was kind of nice. I think I'm crazy. It was just nice to get out and clear my head a bit, though. It's not good to be locked up in my place all stuffy and like I like walking at night because nobody else is around and also because well I'm weird but I like the darkness all right this is boss mini boss time all right it's time to fight my cat I mean the saber tooth tiger no idea what this guy's name is <laughs> I just call it my cat so my cat's a pretty easy mini-boss, if you're willing to take- wow, really easy. <laughs> Bad kitty. Uh, yeah, a lot of the Oracle games' mid-bosses are kind of forgettable. Except for that mini-boss where you literally fight the Grim Reaper. That's- that one's great. Oh uh, no. We gotta go back and get all the chests that we missed. Hoodwink! Yeah, which side his tail shows up on can be a bit of a pain, it's true. He's also tough if you're really trying to avoid damage. <laughs> and if you only have the wooden sword and the cursed ring. Then he actually takes quite a beating to bring down. I don't like those rotating blocks in midair, though. These are, especially when you have to repel off of one and then attract onto another. Oh man, that's annoying. Wink! <laughs> back! Back, you keese! I don't want to play with you right now. Oh, hey there, Dark Nut. Eh, 
There we go. Those blocks are cool in concept, but once you get to the Explorer's Crypt, where you have to, like, repel off of one, change direction in midair, and then attract another, that gets really glitchy because you have, like, one frame to do it. Not a fan. Zero out of ten. Oh boy, bombs! Was that really the last chest? Because we got the compass, which I think is supposed to show where the chests are. Is that Was that really the last chest in the dungeon? I find that difficult to believe. Or do you need the map and the compass in order to see where the chests are on map? That might be it, actually. Nothing. Rats. That's when the Tedo Addict, your name just changed to red. That's interesting. Oh yeah, I've got the green rain right now, which is a pretty great rain. I, well, I saw his name outlined in red, and I'm like, did he post something that the auto mod didn't like or something? <laughs> Even though he's a mod. <laughs> um. Auto mod does not discriminate. If I post something, auto mod doesn't like it'll be like, <laughs> nope. And just like that. Oh. <laughs> Whoop. Yeah, you can also set your name to, s to say that your name will always be in a certain color. So I've set mine to always be in um, a light blue color. Oh, I hate these enemies. These guys were the bane of my existence in my cursed playthrough. Because these guys on a Cursed Playfer can kill you in two hits, and they take a walloping to actually beat. I know you're su I know you're supposed to use the magnetic gloves to attract them, but spin attacks can be just as good. All right. Will this be another dungeon that we get the map for defeating the boss? <laughs> Obligatory, I hate Beemos comment here. I especially hate Beemos in this game where you can't... You can't kill them. Alright. Gotta love how you can still get hit by the fireballs, even when you're protecting yourself with a magnetic shield. That's true, you can use the feather to jump the beams, but... Still no way to actually just get rid of them. Oh, goody, there's the map. Wonderful. I think we'll just reset back to the beginning of the dungeon. I like save warps. Oh, thank you, Keese, for giving me my heart back. Was that really the last key we needed? I remember, I thought there were way more keys in this dungeon. Joink! Magnetic gloves are pretty cool. Time for a terrible boss. Well, let's hope I can beat him really easily. Honestly, sometimes the keys before the boss fight are the most annoying part. Alright. It's Dig Dodger time, Woody.
One cycle? Nope, the one guy merged back into Big Dig Dodger. There we go. Not too bad. Oh boy, the blue ore! Wonderful. He's not too difficult. And we get the Nurturing Warmth, an essence of... I don't remember. <laughs> oh, that's weird how they put a rock there. Why would they put a rock there in the randomizer? Is that to prevent sequence breaking? That is not Rock's Fever, Artie. Dick Dodger does, <laughs> does dislike noise. Unfortunately, I was yelling into my microphone as loud as possible, and nothing happened. Yeah, it took me an embarrassingly long time to figure out that the little Dig Dodgers just died to your sword. They take it. They take a bit of a beating, but it can be done. All right. Well, I suppose we can go to the Subrosian Smithy now. Now that we've got... Or we can go to the furnaces to fuse the two types of ore together. Hey, bro. You have red ore and blue ore. Let's create the hard ore. Or whatever the hard ore turned into. <laughs> Here goes. It's a rain. Your hard ore is done. What kind of rain is it? The swimmer's rain. That's... You can, uh... Go underwater for twice as long, right? Oh, the armor ring is good. We'll keep that in our inventory. Pegasus ring, like... Oh, that's another good one. Except we don't have... This is... Oh, swimming speed increase. That's good. Oh, I like that. Green holy ring. Yeah, that's... Wow, alright. Nice. Oh, I just realized... Wait... <laughs> I wonder if it's possible that in order to beat a seed, you would have to destroy 1,000 signs. Because if you destroy 1,000 signs, the subversion, the sign subversion will give you a rebrain normally. That might get turned into something else. I sure hope not. But you never know. Do 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 do. Yeah, we still can't go to that part of Subrosia, because it's in the way. We have four ore chunks. Oh, that's right, it's just triple rain. Nothing to be done there. Alright, well then. What can we do for fun? <laughs> oh, I know where we can go. We can go to Sunken City. Because, technically speaking, we never actually have been to Mount Cuckoo in the Goron range. Oh, oh, I know, I know why there was no weed here where there is one random, uh, normally. It's possible you could enter that portal from Subrosia without the sword, in which case you would just be stuck there. If you weren't able to move off and then on again. Clever. Sorry, Maple, I'm not going to take your stuff today. Boing? Oh my gosh! That is a really nice ring to have. Oh, that's so good! I'm not sure if I've ever used this ring before. That's really nice. Oh, and it even works in these underwater sections, too. Wow. Oh no! I forgot! It's gotta be summer! Oh look! Brand new fish enemies! That they created just for this game! 
It's not as blatant as Link, Link's Awakening, though. <laughs> All right, let's let's try this again. And now that we've got the summer's breeze or summer sun or whatever it is. There we go. Now we can go to Mount Cuckoo. Now we don't have the key to the Dancing Dragon Dungeon yet, so... Our fun time in the Land of Dragons on Dragon Tales might have to wait. Man, you take a lot of damage in this game. I forgot about that. Oh boy, free standing heart piece. I kind of want that. Oh, also, we got a spring banana already, so... You brought me the spring banana! Oh, I am Moosh. Hey, Moosh. You get a bad rap, but I actually think you're a pretty cool animal, buddy. Just don't hover over water and you'll be good. And he's so cute! Plus, I mean, come on, who wouldn't want to ride a bear that can fly? We got the fist rain! Oh yeah, now we can punch! I disagree, I think, I think Dimitri is the weakest of the animals. Dimitri is slow, and his attack is, um... Doesn't work very often. Although I will admit, Dimitri can swim up waterfalls, which is something you can't do without him. Whereas Moosh can fly over multiple pits, but you can do that without him. At least one, once you go later on in the game. Don't, don't mess with me, I've got bombs and a rod. I hate those Deku Scrub enemies. <laughs> hey, Wolfos! Actually, those might be Lionels. A lot easier than the Breath of the Wild Lionels, though. Hey, dude, give me something great! Yes, let me carry more rings. Oh, that's still just the ring. Okay. Those actually are Lionels? Interesting. I, don't, I feel bad calling them Lionels, because they are nowhere near tough enough to warrant that. Get out of here. This is a she don't tell guy, right? Yeah! Oh, that Goron doesn't do anything in the randomizer? That's a little disappointing. Uh, Big Goron won't have anything for me, so there's no point in going up. Actually, wait, no, there's a chest up there. I think you need Rock's Cape, though. Do you need Rock's Cape or the Magnetic Gloves? Rock's Cape. I, can't, I couldn't remember. I knew it was over a pit of lava, but I couldn't remember if there was a... Glove magnet block there or not. That just leads to a gaseous seed plot that I can't reach. Northern Peak is down there. Okay, fat lot of nothing. Moosh better not have left me. Because without Moosh, I literally can't get past the snow. Moosh! I don't think we can use bombs. No! Moosh! You left me for dead! I can't... No! Curse you, Moosh! <laughs> You've 
gotta be kidding me. And I can't even use Gale Seeds! I literally just have to take this long way back to the river. That... Yes! What a colossal crud butt. <laughs> Gotta love how the season changes just to lead you to a dead end. If this leads to a dead end as well... Okay, thank you. Uh, where are the, uh, gem locations? Okay, that's right. One is in the Explorer's Crypt. And I think the other two are both in Sabrosia. Have I really not been south of... Hmm. Alright, well... Hmm. I am not going past the Natsu Prairie again. I, I, I refuse. That is a nice touch that it still works in the randomizer. You started making a Zelda game once? That's really cool! Well, never finished story of my life. <laughs> I've started so many projects and not really finished them. <coughs> Heart limbs! That's why I'm always hesitant to start a new project. Alright. Give me money! Yoink! Alright. I'm gonna check what's up on the trees on this side, then we can move the mushrooms and explore the oceanic cave. Then we're going back to Sunken City. Oh wait, it's just this guy. Oh well, at least we get money. We can buy potions. Please tell me there's a dock down here. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> there are a whole bunch of, like, checks that I'm... I wonder if they are even used. Like, the signpost check. Or, like, oh, you slayed, like, a thousand monsters. Here, this is the key to the sixth dungeon. <laughs> I would hope they're not that evil, because if so, then, uh, hope there's a way to turn those off. I'm not sitting here and destroying a thousand signposts just to get the key to the Dancing Dragon dungeon. You- I gotta say, this the Oracle games slash Link's Awakening have the best overworld theme of all the Zelda games. Followed by Majora and Ocarina. But there's something magical about the this one. Is there even anything in here that I can get? There is a chest! Please give me the seed satchel. That would be so nice. Seed satchel would be amazing. It's 30 bucks! That's not great. Uh, 
Alright, we're taking them all the way back for... Th I suppose at this point, Natsu Prairie would... For a loaf of bread? <laughs> at this point, I bet going for the Natsu Prairie would actually be the fastest way, but... No, forget that. I'm not going through that again on principle. That poor old man is gonna be calling for his cat for the entire seed. <laughs> Ron Satchel, Mobius. Because you don't actually have to do the trading uh, side quest in order to actually get the item at the end of it. Do, 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 do. It's a beautiful spring day. Perfect day for taking on evildoers. No, it's not four north, it's four west. Each one in a warmer season. I always suffered in that side quest because I always fought that the game says that, like, the seasons from coldest to hottest are winter, fall, spring, summer. I thought that the from coldest to hottest it would be winter, spring, fall, summer. Because I don't know about you, but Michigan falls tend to be considerably warmer than Michigan springs. I did not say that. <laughs> Is there a gaseous seed over here? Maybe up the waterfall? There, there is. I got the fist ring again! Does this cave leave it lead anywhere? It does. The red holy ring! Is that half damage from spiked floors? It's not a particularly great rain if memory serves. We gotta stop and do this. It's very important. <laughs> That's what you get for making bombs. You know, like, down with the terrorists and all that. Yeah, it's not going to be worth equipping that rain. I just... it's cool. Ouch. Man, the swimmer's rain is nice. Yep. It, on the third time you try that, he'll catch you and force you to stay in the house, and it'll blow up with you in it, and you die. But at that point, you kind of deserve it. Alright. Hum kachunk! Now, will they- will they actually steal my rocks, Feber? This could be a problem, because I don't have the shovel. That's- what's that? It's so weird. We'll trade you this ore for it. You got Fool's Ore. I already had Fool's Ore. Yeah, um... So, I don't have Rock's Fever, and I don't have the shovel to actually dig it back up. So... I'm assuming the randomizer makes it so that I can't just screw myself by doing that. But you never know. Oh, the randomizer makes the item just appear. You don't actually have to dig for it. Oh, that's nice. Let's go bury some treasure. Make sure nobody sees us. So this stealth portion is still in the game, I guess. I always hated this stealth part. Especially the part where they randomly come back just to catch you out. Or actually, maybe that it's Rosa who does that. Really good music, though. 
do, do, do. Also, are these supposed to be trees? Because they look weird. Thank goodness they have very bad eyesight and can't see over this. I guess that's true, the trees do resemble the Dark World trees from Link to the Past. Oh, that only happens on the second run? Okay, Rosa definitely fakes you out at the, on the last screen when you do her stealth mission. But thankfully that got cut from the randomizer! Come on, let's find more treasure. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, and thank goodness we still have our Fool's Ore. <laughs> it's very important, I paid 300 rupees for that Fool's Ore. Alright, cool, we got our Fever back, no problem. And we can go to the last part of the temple now. And more importantly... yeah, We can visit the graveyard! Wait a second! You says fools can't someone find me bell? Hi you you could Oh So you don't have to beat ancient ruins in order to get him. Okay. Go find me bell. Alright. Cause I'm like, wait a second. One of the keys to Tarm Ruins where the ancient ruins is is in the Explorer script, but you can't reach the Explorer script without the pirates, but the pirates won't do anything until you go to ancient ruins. Nice shortcut there. That's good. Yeah, they did a really bad job of burying the Fool's Ore. No, they just put it on the ground. I guess that kind of makes sense. I mean, I feel like if the captain really needs his bell, and, uh, and like, nobody's doing it, and you're like, hey, I, I can try, the least he could be is like, alright, sure, if you want. Tell me mates to let you in the desert. <laughs> Alright, we got some good changes in the randomizer. I like it. Do 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 Alright. I bet the shovel's gonna be the last item we get. <laughs> then we gotta use it a bunch till we find the dancing dragon dungeon key. May as well grab this. Might get a potion out of it. Or the red rain. Actually, red rain might not be randomized. Yeah, that's right. There's still something buried in the seashore. Darn it, a lot of this overworld stuff doesn't seem to have been randomized. It's a little disappointing. Alright, thus far all the fairies have given me, I believe, either pieces of heart or heart containers. Alright, I'm the symbol of spring. Oh, look! Another one that gave me health extension. I knew the standing heart pieces weren't changed, but okay, standing gasha seeds are not either. I hope that gets changed in a future randomizer update, because that would make it things more interesting. Okay, okie dokie. Okay. 
It's weird how you can't grab a second mushroom while the a first mushroom is still on screen. I have to wait till the mushroom disappears before I can make the second one do anything. Hi, Moosh! I haven't forgotten what you did to me, you jerk. You know, maybe I understand why people don't like Moosh now. Thank you, Mr. Cuckoo. <laughs> All of that just to get a gash of seed. Is there another chest in here? Probably not, but eh. Got a gash of seed. All right. There's something down here too. Oh man, wasn't fast enough. Oh, that's the diver's plaque. Stupid bats! Why do bats push you around that much? The master's plaque! Cool. Well, I could go back to Sunken City now, but I won't. The master had one of your gemstones? <laughs> the master has the master's plaque! Because you'll never need it, you can never get it. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. I might have to do part of the trading sequence to up uh, to wake up Talon. Because there's a chest behind where he is. Oh, shoot. Forgot about that, actually. Ooh. Anything in this cave? Oh, this is... Oh, wait, never mind. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't know why I thought he was blocking the way entirely. Never mind. If I want to buy potions, I need to wake him up. Otherwise, nah. See where this is. Ooh, a heart container. I'll take that. Yeah, Aquamentus might have a small key. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, let's make it winter. Oh wait, winter just leads to the keyhole. And as much as I like Kingdom Hearts, I don't think that'll do us a whole lot of good. Hmm. Back to Sunken City. Gotta hand the master his plaque. There's a, also, there's a bunch, there's, there's supposedly two gemstones hidden in Subrosia somewhere. Oh, that's right, We're, we actually do need Dimitri in order to reach. Thank goodness Dimitri hasn't <laughs> left on me. Hey, dude, what you gonna give me? 
That's your master's plaque. Wow! Wow! All that work. All that work for a single rupee. This makes me so mad, I gotta take my anger out on someone else. <laughs> and there's a hungry Dodongo waiting for you. Oh, they just ran right past. Dimitri's a pal? I seem to remember him saying something like, Kill every last one of them! <laughs> oh wait, wrong Dimitri. Alright, I guess we're going to the desert. Oh no! The bell tree is in my way. Yeah, I hope I can remember the secret code that gets us in the desert, because I actually didn't check. I think I remember, but maybe not. That's not winter. I wonder... Ooh, wait, I wonder, can the desert be in the winter time? Because normally it's just always in spring. And there are no stumps there to change the season. But I wonder if it could actually be randomized into something like winter. That would be really interesting to see. It's spring. I bet it's always spring. Hey, dude, you can leave. Yep! That's it! Ah, uh, Samasa Desert. Can't remember how to get all the chests in here, actually. I just know one of these quicksand pits actually leads you to the treasure chest. The bottom left pit. Okay. Isn't it? The only other check is the bell in here? Interesting. Aha! <laughs> Link just had to waste a bomb before he went down here. Can I get the seed satchel soon? Please and thank you, God bless. That's not the seed satchel. Alright, dude. Ahoy! I was searching the desert for the bill! Alright. This is where the snowshoe rain would help. Or not the snowshoe rain, the uh, quicksand rain. I've been waiting to carry the bell. Yeah, I got water up me nose. <laughs> ah, 
Aha! Pfft, I got sand in me now! Far you dropped me! <laughs> is the bell vanilla? That's it! No doubt about it! Oh, the rusty bell is, is vanilla. Interesting. Uh oh, that won't do! But he can go off to the afterlife anyways. He doesn't want to go on one last Caribbean cruise. Oh, so it can be random, I just happened to get the actual bell. I love how there's, like, a, a way to Subrosia that's not just a portal. But rather you, like, cut through the ship underground. That's, that's really cool. Hey, you brought the bell? No, it's rusted, you doofus! Gotta find the smithy, then. Yeah, we gotta polish it. I gotta fix this turret up. Okay, I'm guessing that one of the gems is buried where the star state where the star-shaped ore normally is. As for the other one, I don't know. Ho oh, ho! Almost fell in the pit. But not today, boys. All right, the smithy, I think, is over. <laughs> I think the smithy's right here. There they are. We're the finest smithy in the land, but we only take jobs on that interest us. Should he do it? <laughs> do it! <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Okay. I assume that's not... I assume that's never randomized. Also, this will take us to the Explorer script, but we can't beat the Explorer script without Rock's cape. Also, it would ni be nice to have the magic boomerang as well, but beggars can't be choosers. Well, that was weird. That was like a diagonal repulsion. Hmm. Now, the second thing the two brothers bury is always junk. I don't have to check that. You brought me bell! Arr, this is a oh, it's full of memories. We're off to sea, mateys! Oh, that's true. Oh, no, they skipped the best music in the game! Oh, no, they skipped the best music in the game. The doom da 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 dun 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 I guess that's all right. All right, another heart container. I think this just leads to a. Yeah, I'm not talking to that guy. Even if he is a shh, don't tell guy, I have enough money. Something good? Bombs. Well, at the very least, I can kill the Golden Beast here. You gotta love how the roof of the house changes color depending on what season it is. I know that's how the seasons work in real life, too. Link destroys the man's, uh, roof, and then just walks off like a chad. There he is. Gold Dark Nut. Easy. What does killing the gold beasts do? 
Do you not know? So there are four gold beasts in the world. If you kill all of them, you, there's a secret guy's house you can go to, and he gives you the red rain, which is the best rain in the entire game. I guess we'll go and explore what little of the crypt we can. Who knows, we might find something good in there. There's not much else we can do. Have you not gotten the red ring before? It's definitely tough to get, but it's so, oh, so worth it. Yeah, the blue rain is way easier to get, but it's also nowhere near as good. Alright. Level 7, the Explorer's Crypt. Also, I could go for the Noble Sword pretty soon. For the pot shattering ability alone. I think this leads to a place where... Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, the Hyper Saline Shot! I don't think that leads us anywhere right now, but that's definitely good to have. Do, 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 do. Oh no, not Wiz Robes. The blue ones in particular suck. It's not about being useful, it's about looking cool. <laughs> oh no, back to the start for me. Joke's on you, that's what I wanted. Ouch. Move it, you stupid skull. Something good? Small key, alright. That's fine, that's fine. Oh hey! Hit both of them with the hyper sling shot. Not bad, but it won't go so well next time! You'll see. Oh, this is the room that's gonna suck without the magical boomerang. Because those... One of those Armos Knights is normal, and the others will all turn to the red versions. Well, let's just do what we can. <gasps> Rock's Cape! That's gonna be good. Oh, yeah, we juicing now. 
Actually, can we go to the Northern Peak now? That is level 8 access. I'm gonna see how far I can get in the Explorer's Crypt first, though. Probably not very far, but you never know. It's very fitting that it seems, it really does seem like we'll be going to Ancient Ruins last, because Ancient Ruins, in my opinion, is the toughest dungeon. We still can't beat it without the satchel? Well, I can at least go farther. Oh no, is this the room that su- no, this is not the room that sucks. I mean, that room does suck, but... Oh! It's the puzzle that gives me way more trouble than it should. Hmm. Puzzle's tougher than it looks. I did it again. Hmm. Because we need this to move over here. There we go. That's what we need. Oh boy, $30. That was totally worth it. Oh boy, it's my favorite enemies. Take that. <laughs> this is definitely a tricky dungeon. I definitely think dungeon eight, uh, six is tougher. Maybe dungeon eight as well? It's hard for me to tell. Small key. Uh oh. This room sucks without the magical boomerang. Is this the room we can't go through? No, we can go through this room. Okay, we can't go through that, even with the swimmer's ring. That's certainly possible. Up, and then left free. This might be the last check. It's a small key! Oh no, I can't use my sword because I touched a bubble. Only in Zelda.
I wonder if the hyper slingshot lets me. No. Okay. Yep. No Pegasus seeds, so we we done. Guess we're heading off to the sword and shield maze. Why did the music start going weird? Oh no! Oh thank goodness. <laughs> I thought we were literally going to be snowed in. Snowed in at the House of Mouse, but nope. Man, that would be the dumbest thing if it's like, Oh, you entered the seventh dungeon! You are screwed! You don't know how to... <laughs> they were sold out of sh the snow shovels. Alright, Northern Peak, here we come! It's gonna be a tough one. Why is the grandma the only one who's doing the farming? Why is everyone in Moron Village just sitting there letting the grandma do all the work? Also, why does this rock always respawn? That's one rock that really should just stay removed. Oh man, you can burn pea hats from when they're high up. Man, the hyper sling shot's so fun to use. Darn it! It's a trap! At this point, we're pretty close to being done. Well, pfft, not really, I guess. We still need the dragon key. We still need the seed satchel. But after that, I think we're pretty much out of there. I do have the green rain equipped, right? Good. Definitely going to be needing that. Oh, interesting. This place is now <laughs> summer. Out of here, Lionel. Alright, ruined Temple of Seasons. That's right, I think we just make it winter. Hey Sonic, welcome! Oh yeah, this game is great. If only I could... Whoa, graphical glitch there. If only I could remember how to get through this area. Darn it, it was in the right season to begin with. Autumn? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, nice Sonic emotes, everybody. It is weird how in Autumn it's just like sometimes holes are filled in. No need to ask any more questions. Alright, this is where we turn it to winter. Thank goodness all these stumps are still around. Jamie wants a big boom. Yeah, I, I like how it gets puzzly with the seasons there. You just threw away perfectly good boxing gloves! Oh, it skips the cutscene there. Cool. And now this place is utterly destroyed.
Is this just another freestanding heart piece? Yeah. You know what, we'll take it. There ain't nothing wrong with freestanding heart pieces. Alright! Yeet! Get out of here, crows. Actually, those are probably gways. Oh, yeah. I only recently realized that there's a much easier strat for the mini-boss than what I fought earlier. And you, you all will probably be like, um, duh, Artie, how did you think you were supposed to fight the boss? Well... What a butt! He would not move. I guess I could have shot him with a slingshot, but... Alright. Oh, hey, Lionels! Do, 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 He wasn't moving off the cliff, though. I couldn't. Oh, well, level 8 has the best boss in the game. So I'm looking forward to that. He would have jumped eventually? I mean, I waited there for a while, but no jump. No chest down there? Good. Beware when there's a bunch of fairies right before something. Alright. Can we beat level 8, the Sword and Shield Maze, without the Seed Satchel? Sword and Shield Maze. Oh yeah, the mini-boss of level 8 is by far harder than the boss. But the boss is really awesome. Although, this dungeon could be difficult without the Noble Sword. Catchy music, though. Sorry for the seizures anybody may have had from that constant pausing. Oh, I hate this. I hate this room so much. The only thing worse than the magnet enemies are the magnet enemies on ice. Worst figure skating show ever. Also, I don't have the snowshoe range, so that's going to make this a little annoying. Oh my gosh, Link, you suck on ice! Get out of here. I should have just used the Gale Seeds on him way earlier. <laughs> yeah, the cape is definitely your best friend in this dungeon. This way is blocked, ah, uh, yeah. Going down to the sword. Ah yes, the anti-fairies. I must remember that. Ooh, 
This is the room of Wallmasters, I remember. Oh, I hate this room, too. Still feels luck-based whether you get through without getting hit or not. Okay. Oh, I hate fire keys, too. They're everything wrong with regular keys, except you can't actually hit them. Oh boy, the boss key. So soon. Alright. Oh, yay, turntables. My favorite. Is this the way you want to go first, or... No, this is the way you want to go last! Alright. I wonder what it would be like for to implement the... the magnetic gloves in an actual, uh... 3D Zelda game. If that's even possible. Oh, great! No bombs. I appreciate hearts, but I do need bombs. You're lousy! No bombs! Great! That sucks. I really wish I had one of those bomb extensions. Now we just have to hope that he stays out of the way for long enough. I juked him. Alright, some are good, some are good. Alright. That's fair. Oh boy, we can fight the mini-boss! I really don't want to fight the mini-boss yet, but we might have to if the game doesn't give us any bombs. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, is this one of those ones we can cheese? Yeah. You know, someone tells me we're not supposed to do that, but... Bomb extension? Okay, you know what? I will take ten bombs happily. That actually kind of makes my day a little bit.
I think that one frame of... Oh, I'm dumb. I went to the wrong staircase. We gotta do that from this staircase. Silly rabbit. Yeah. No cheese in your way. Oh, great! Fire keys are objectively the worst enemy in the game. They can hit you, but you can't hit them. And they, they hit hard. Now I... This takes us back to the turntable, I know. Ooh. Is the turntable do going the right direction, though? It is! Oh, wonderful! It's a small key. A small key is exactly what one would need to open a small door. Okay. So now we can bomb the stuff at the upper floor. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Then we can go and fight the mid-boss, who... I can't remember his name. It, it's like, it might be just something like Shiverburn. Ouch. Oh, you get it by going for the mid-boss room? Interesting. Oh, of course! They put the bombs after you actually need bombs to get them. I get that it's a refill after getting it, but still. No. Ow. 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 Give me a break! Stupid bubbles. Oh, great, we got four hearts going into the mid-boss. This is gonna be sucky. Actually, wait. Oh no, did I already waste the hearts by getting them earlier? No! Well, great. And of course I'm gonna die right before we get the checkpoint. Alright, well... Level 6 is harder. So what I thought you had to do to beat this guy... I thought you had to constantly shoot him with Mystery Seeds. And then constantly shoot him with Ember Seeds, but... I've realized you can actually just... Use Mystery Seeds on what he shoots here, wait for him to turn back to fire. And then throw these crystals at him. And th those crystals do significantly more damage. Yeah. <laughs> he dies in free hits instead of... I literally thought you had to keep pausing, switching between Mystery Seeds and Ember Seeds, and shooting him with Ember Seeds when he's icy. You can do that, but that takes like 20 shots. That's way easier. There we go. This is where I'm gonna wish we had the snowshoe rain. Oh boy, ice block puzzles, everyone's favorite. Doo doo. Let's see. You think level 6 is easy? No, level 6 is giant, complicated, magical boomerang kind of sucks to use, and it has the worst boss. Checkmate. Oh, 
Uh oh, I may have messed up already. Yeah, I think I messed up already. Unless I'm mistaken, I think we can, um... I, I guess it can be considered linear, but at the same time... Nope. Push the light. Push the block. Push the block. It's filled with tough enemies, too. This puzzle's kind of annoying, but it's not, like, super difficult. Look at there, I got it second try. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it's the ice physics that make it worse. Eh, eh, or that make this puzzle annoying. Eh. Yeah! Ouch. Get out of here, bats, you're not ru- we're not gonna let a bunch of keys destroy the best vacation ever. <laughs> do 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 do. This probably doesn't... Wait, this just takes me... To, no, it doesn't. Shortcut of sorts. Oh, no. Freaking whiz robes. I repeat, ice physics do not make good level design. Nine times out of ten. Oh no. I don't have the magical boomerang. And I don't think a hyper slingshot shot will be able to hit that. We can try. Oh no! We're gonna do a cut, uh, mid boss warp. Yeah, that, we're blocked out of that. Although, we might be able to reach the boss without it. I'm not saying we guaranteed will, but we might be able to. Oh yes, this dungeon, or this puzzle, sorry. Alright, the compass! Ah! <laughs> Ages Rando? I'm not sure if that would be better or worse than Seasons Rando. I generally don't like Ages as much as Seasons, but it's still a fun game. Although, Oracle of Ages does have one of my favorite Zelda dungeons of all time, the Skull Dungeon. Love that one. Very straightforward, but still challenging. And it has the best dungeon item ever in it. Is there anything else in here? No, that's a dead end. Wahahaha! Out of my way! Nice! 
threw it down there and killed one of the wizards at the same time. Oh no, I need another key. It's probably the one being blocked by the magical boomerang. This is not good. Yeah, so we need the Seed Satchel, the Magical Boomerang, and the Dragon Key, and then the two jewels. Or, I'm sorry, free jewels. So it's actually a lot more than I, f I first thought. Oh, shoot, I hope we can finish the Seed tonight. I want to finish the Seed tonight. But we still have free dungeons after this. Granted, one of them we've done about halfway through. Hacha! That was weird. Some <laughs> Did the wizard spawn on top of the lava pit? I didn't know that that was possible. Ow. Can we seriously not get to the basement? Yeah. Because this just leads us on a wild goose chase back to the... Yeah, we seriously cannot. Wow. Alright, is that... Is that really all we can do? That appears to be all we can do. I don't see any other way to proceed. Huh. Oh, are you using the emulator where if you change the floor on the map, it soft locks? I used to use that, but I use I use Big, Bizhawk now. Uh, I, I think that's literally all we can do in the Sword and Shield maze. I hate leaving dungeons, especially that one, half done. Because it's a pain in the butt to get back to it, but... There's got to be a treasure chest somewhere that I'm missing. Well, clearly. So that leads to the piece of heart. Now that we have rocks ki- Oh! There's that one place in the Goron Mountains, that one chest we can get now that we have rocks cape. That's where we're going next. I didn't know Maple could spawn here. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
excuse me. So until I get the Seed Satchel, I am locked out of Explorer's Script. Until I get the Magical Boomerang, I'm locked out of Sword and Shield Maze. Until I get the two jewels, I am... or three remaining jewels. Oh, dog. Gone, you moosh. And then I'm locked out of, um... Locked out of Dancing Dragon Dungeon until I can get the Dragon Key. Hmm. There's gotta be some random chest somewhere where it's like, Oh, I entered there earlier, but I need magnetic gloves, but I didn't go there after getting magnetic gloves. Which is kind of distressing. Got everything in the Samasa Desert. I believe I've gotten that chest, the one near Dungeon 2. I think I've done pretty much everything in Sabrosia as well. Huh. <sighs> There's the random guy who normally gives you one of the jewels, but until I beat the Dancing Dragon Dungeon, I, he won't give me his... I don't think he will. I bet I better double-check, because maybe that's something they changed for the emulator, where... In the past, there's the old guy in the house that you have to swim to, where it's like, after you've beaten the first four... After, after you beat the first five dungeons, he'll give you one of the jewels, but he might just give it to you if you reach him now. Yeah, I better check. Will you give me it? I got an upside-down piece of heart. Cool. Alright, so that, that check is removed. Didn't have what I needed, but... Already checked that chest. Alright. Spool Swamp have anything? I think I've already checked in there. This is getting tough. And I'm really worried that it's like, oh, there was actually something else you could have gotten in Sword and Shield Maze, and you just left without getting it. Oh, that's right, you can't kill flowers with a sword, apparently. The fact that I still don't have the ability to teleport around, it's also really annoying. Is there a chest in the waterway that maybe I didn't get? I think I got it. the chest in here, right? There isn't a chest in there? Okay. Well, shucksy doodles. I would really love to be able to use Gale Seeds as teleports, but Pharaoh said no. Use your help, Ricky. I don't have scent seeds, so I can't get the upgrade from the Deku Scrub and Natsu Prairie. I just don't know what else there is. Honestly, the no shovel is also kind of screwing me up a little bit. There's nothing in the market. Hmm. 
We can use the magnetic gloves to get to this part, but there's no chest here. Yeah, it's, it just leads to the big ore chunk. And I would need the shovel to get it anyways. Yeah, nothing there. Hmm. I might... Yeah, I did get the spoiler log. It's true. I could get it. I'm gonna check a couple more places, though. One place that it might be in is... There may have been a chest in Snake's Remains that I just never got. Oh! Did not get that chest! I did not have magnetic gloves at the time. Good call, Nintendo Addict. Alright, let's see if this has my prize. Oh, I hope I hope this has the jackpot. Big money, big money. The hard orb! Okay. That could lead somewhere. Off to Subrosia. Alright, I hope the smithy gives me something good. Otherwise, we in trouble. If they forge me the magical boomerang, then, well... It's back to Sword and Shield Maze for me. Hello, welcome to the Subversion Smithy! Do whatever. Do 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 do! All that for a heart container. Great. Well, I'm still glad to have that, but... Not as happy as I would have been to get something else. That's the chef subversion. <laughs> Alright, see you, Nintendo Addict. Yeah, I'm gonna just take a little peek see at the spoiler log. Because I am out of ideas. Interesting. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I still don't really know exactly where to go, however. My best guess is that I must have missed something in Dungeon 8. So we're going back to Dungeon 8, everybody. Do 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 Who knew that Lionels could shoot arrows out of their face? Not me. Come on, jump. That's exactly what you were supposed to do. I, I literally think I must have missed an obvious chest in here, because according to the spoiler guide, there's a chest in here that I was supposed to get that I did not have. <laughs> Sword and Shield Maze. Yeah, I don't think we're finishing the seed tonight. But I at least want to finish the Sword and Shield Maze. Alright. Leads around through there into a low. All right, that's right. Yeah, there's just a staircase we can go down here that I missed. That gives us at least a small key to go off of. Yes, and now that takes us around to this staircase. Yes, alright. Stupid old myself just missed a staircase in here. There we go! That's the magical boomerang. And now we are on a roll. And we can finish the dungeon. Ah, uh, if I wasn't so stupid, I wouldn't have had to waste all that time backtracking. Still lava over that way, which is... okay. Yeet! I don't like Vimos. There we go. Second small key.
Wait, can you shoot? No, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Darn it, I screwed everything up. Yeah. Okay, well, before we mess with all these crystals... Ice block staircase will now actually take us to where we need to go. Beat it, keys. Ouch. Oh no. You're not trapping me in there. Nope, you're not trapping me in there. Well, they did their darndest to try. We should get for this room with the boomerang. There we go. I don't care if you want me to restart now, Windows. I'm in the middle of something. It's like, oh my gosh, we noticed that you're streaming and like right now, but this seems like the perfect time for you to stop everything and start this window update. It's like, nope. Amazing. Everything that you just said was wrong. Take that. Oh boy, I'm so glad I went all that way to get $30. That was worth it. <laughs> Alright, now we have to set up everything proper. With the minecarts. So what I should have done is I should have taken this minecart to the Bemos room. Because it needs to be here waiting for us when we have the crystal. Doom on you. Doom on you. Alright, now this is where the fun begins. Pick up this ice crystal, and we can use this minecart series to freeze the last part of the dungeon. Everyone hates you, Blue Wizrobe. You know that, right? He does, and he's proud of it. There we go. That must be one cold ice cube to instantly harden all of this lava permanently. Alright folks, time for the best boss in the whole game. The one... The only... Medusa Head!
You can shoot Pegasus Seeds at it to uh, freeze it in place. But I prefer the hectic battle that comes just like this. Also, the only boss of the dungeons in this game that's actually original. All the others come from our Zelda games. Alright, now we'll pull out the Pegasus Seeds, because the fight's going a little south. Oh, pfft. there we go. And there's the shovel, at last. Still no Seed Satchel, of course. And we get the Changing Seasons. Cool, that Sword and Shield Maze down. Quite happy about that. And at this point... We should be able to get the remaining two... And the remaining two. There are three jewels remaining. We can get two of them. They should both be in Subrosia. We're gonna go digging in the shores. It should be fun. Yeah, so the treasure map doesn't actually mark them when they're in Subrosia, it just marks where the portals are. Now, I don't remember exactly where the Starship Door can be located here, so I'm just gonna dig everywhere. So two of my favorite items to get early on, the shovel and the seed satchel, we didn't get- Oh, there we go! There's the X-shaped jewel. Hot dog Pluto. And that's the entire Subversion map. Very nice. I suppose we could keep digging around if we wanted to find... Ah. Why can I not talk tonight? If we wanted to find more ore chunks to go to the store with, that's something we could do, but... Eh. Ouch. One more place to dig. I sure hope it's here, otherwise I have no clue where it would be. Oh, it's still a rain. Whispering or the Zora Rain, eh. None of them are particularly good. Well, shoot. That is a bit of a shame. Unfortunately, I think that's all the time we have for tonight's stream. It was a two hour stream. We're not going to be finishing the seed tonight. I just don't think there's time for it. But what we will do is we will try to finish up this seed on Wednesday, and if we have some extra time, maybe we can finish up Sockworks as well. So. Look forward to that. Thanks for joining in tonight, everybody. This was definitely a lot of fun, and I'm glad to see we're finally making some progress in this seed. So, that's always a relief. So, yeah, we'll try to finish this on Wednesday. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, and God bless.